Hi there and welcome to video number one. This video is going to briefly go over what you can expect from the contents after you've downloaded. Uh, this is assuming you've purchased all ten blogs. If you've only purchased one blog um, or however many blogs then you'll get um, a similar uh, zip file to what you see here. Uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory. This is the AdSense blog, anxiety blog, dieting blog, etc. Um, but what I would do first is click on, double click on the Read Me First folder and inside this Read Me First text file you'll see some information about reading the documentation page which I'll show you in a second the uh, username and ad, uh, username and password for the blogs of course, um, uh, let's see uh, inf you know, some, some tips about, you know, changing your password you know, once you've installed the blog, you know, I'd, I'd do that straight away. But that's also mentioned in um, video number two. And of course, to have a look at your rights and all that. So after you've opened up the Read Me First folder, please read the Read Me First text file inside the rights folder. Um, basically, if you're going to go on and, and sell these blogs either to your list or uh, on Flippa or if you have a membership site then please include the personal rights don't include the whole zip file that you that you download don't include all these files just as is um, <clears throat> essentially you know it for the rights for the purchaser which would be you um, if you purchase these blogs directly from me in some manner you have basic resale rights so that means that you can sell personal rights, personal um, use rights to whoever you're selling to. So if you're selling, you know, if you're including these on a forum, a PLR forum or a membership site, you know, please let people know that they only have personal use. They can't go on to sell these blogs. I do make an exception um, where if, if the people of your forum or membership site you know, change at least 50% of the articles, you know, rewrite the articles, uh, completely swap out the articles, and at the very least change um, the images in the slider, uh, you know, to try to make the blogs at least 50% unique, then they can sell on Flippa. But other than that, they just have personal use with these blogs. Um, so you as the purchaser have basic resell rights. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I've, you know, made this try to make try I tried to make this as um, as obvious as possible I got a little bit carried away with a red font but I just want to make make it clear that uh, those people of a forum or membership site only get personal use therefore they get this license personal rights <coughs> and uh, okay so I just wanted to mention that um, sorry about that and the documentation page that's also important so if you double click that it will open up in a new browser window and this also has in important information about my support forum um, with you know to uh, obviously start with this video the second video is the backup buddy installation video so you can watch over my shoulder as I install one, one of these blogs it's quite easy to do um, and I do recommend that you watch each and every video because it's it's obviously going to help you um, configure these blogs got links to all the plugins if you want to learn more about the plugins um, you know uh, information about Clickbank you can use this link to encode your your hop link if you like um, so I've got all the hop links here so when you swap out my hop links for your own you can just add your ID or take your ID and go to this link and encode your hop links and then place it here because um, this is well actually you'll get uh, an encoded hop link but if you don't encode your hop link then just put your Clickbank ID here and these this is the vendor for AdSense recipe for example okay um, you know, so a little bit more information, how to contact me, etc. Um, <clears throat> going 
go back to the readme first. The standalone theme, if you're going to use the theme on its own like some people like to do, I do recommend that you include the featured content gallery plugin. I do talk about this in one of the videos. Um, and if you want to use the same coupon font in the header and in certain parts of the blog where there's a, a specific font being used, then um, you'll want to use, you want to upload these to your plugins folder. Um, so you uh, also I provide some instructions on you know some tips and some instructions on on using the standalone theme and along with the plugins the PSDs Photoshop files are really just for the banners so they give you kind of a general uh, size guideline and um, inside the okay so here's an example of one of the blogs unzipped so you want to unzip each one of these or however you know however many you purchased and you don't you don't upload this to WordPress uh, sorry through file manager you oh, you unzip it and then you up, all you need to do is upload these two files your import buddy.php and your backup of the AdSense blog or whichever blog you're installing so you just upload those two files um, video number two goes over all that just click in here um, intro to contents that's what you're watching now the backup buddy installation video uh, shows me installing uh, email and theme overview plugin overview where I go over the you know certain aspects of the plugins and of course monetization that just really means swapping out hop links how to do it where to, where to swap them out so you make sure you you swapped out all the links properly and that is about it um, you know once again start with the readme first folder and you know, have a look at all, all the, this documentation, at least the readme first text file, the PLR rights, make sure you understand them, and read the documentation page. And then, you know, unzip whichever blog you want to install, and then just install these two, and go through the um, step one through six of Backup Buddy. And once again, I go through that in video number two. All right, so uh, thanks again for purchasing. If you have any questions, you there is uh, I do provide my um, email contact email in, in this readme first text file, as well as on the documentation page, and um, everything else sh should hopefully go smoothly and be self-explanatory. And but if you do need to contact me, please do, and I'll help you out uh, as much as I can. Thanks very much.